gosh, it smells like feet in this hallway. All my kids' shoes are in this hallway. In this hallway. It's absolutely bad. It's like the worst. Ugh. Ugh. Well, good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, June 1st. The first day in June. Like, can you believe it? We're in June already. Wow. I got some morning errands to run and then some daddy duties to do with my kids, take them to basketball and things like that. I also will be working on my ed TPA. Hey, fellow teachers out there, don't judge me. That's a pretty hefty document to, to submit. So I'm working on my ed TPA today, but right now I'll head to the bank, get some, well, some, do some light grocery shopping. I'm the type that shop every day because I buy stuff for the week and my kids eat up everything at one time. So I buy dinner every day. Like the food I'm gonna cook for the night, on my way home from work, I pick up every day. They're growing boys. It is what it is. What's up guys? So I just got out the bank. Um, there was a very long wait. They're short staffed and um, I bank at MCU. And uh, there was a, sh a couple of us waiting in the waiting area. And the lady that's in the front that greets everybody that comes into the bank which i love i love banks that do that uh so i was sitting there instead of us being bored she decides to give us a presentation about um some of the benefits that mcu has for their members and uh she sold me uh she was professional but then she also shared an experience and uh she didn't mean to so she usually gives this presentation a lot and uh one of the benefits is uh cash help when you have maybe a loved one die or when they're sick and they need extra money extra benefits they have that and four years ago her mother died of cancer and she didn't know about this benefit so she got really emotional during this and um, some people like to sell product uh, in a professional manner some people feel the product that they sell she felt that product and um, for that I'm going back to sign up for the, the benefits because it was um, needed like you never know who gets sick who passes away life you know hits you in a way that it's unexpected a lot of times and when you're not prepared for life life could really beat you up so I'm looking to get prepared and set me and my sons up and my grandchildren up for success in the future but yeah yeah it was an eye-opening moment for me all right back home I'm home now um I am stuck without a car I have no car for at least two days. So I dropped the ball. I dropped the ball and let my inspection lapse. So my car is in my sister's driveway until Monday so I can get it inspected. Um, the engine light was on and I got the situation fixed. It was an easy fix, like real easy. But I also have to get my brakes done, and I can do that myself, or my son can do it. My son is in automotive program at his high school, and he can actually oil, brakes, all that stuff. So he's about to save me some money. <laughs> but I am out without a car for a couple of days, and I'm just going to chill, which is probably good. If I can't go nowhere, I have to sit and relax. Past couple of days have been really weird for me because that's what I've been doing sitting and relaxing and I don't know how to sit and relax I really don't I don't know how to watch movies at home anymore I don't know how to even browse the internet anymore I don't know how to to do a lot of relaxing things because I always had in my mind that I needed to do assignments and I had deadlines and this person wanted me to go and move this for them this person wanted me to to clean this for them uh, Phones always ringing, ringing, going. I, I have to shut my phone off, like off, put the, put it on mute, and let it go to voicemail type. These past couple of days, it felt good. Right now, my sons are at basket open gym. I made myself some pancakes just now, and it's two forty seven in the afternoon. I had a very busy morning trying to get my car situated. It's situated. It's ready to pass inspection. I hope, but can't do it till Monday. It's Saturday. I'm chilling. But that requires me to go to church tomorrow and use public transportation, which is good. I love going to church using, or going places using public transportation. I like being around people, but ironically, 
I don't like crowds. I cannot stand crowds. When it's too crowded, I I get hot. Like, I don't get anxiety a lot, but when I'm in a, a crowd of people that I don't really know, I'm 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 bound to get like really hot. So I'm just gonna chill at home. Um this afternoon I may walk down to Alice Austin house in Staten Island and just sit by the water for a little bit. But that's about it. Alright. Um this is a quick vlog, uh not much action happening. But that's it. I will be posting up a, a video. Let me know what you think about a video that I want to post about comparing online college with traditional in-class colleges. So I want to do that video. In fact, I don't need your permission, but you can leave a comment anyway. I'm going to do that video. But let me know if you think that it would be beneficial to some, especially my son, who's going to be a junior. Well, he's already a junior. He's going to be a senior next year. And he's in the process of looking for colleges. Sometimes online college may be the, the choice, but college isn't for everybody. All right. That's it. I'm done. Have a blessed day. And thank you for watching. It's very quick. Non specific vlog that I just posted here.